Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Blink Outdoor 2 camera kit with sync module. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this kit or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Blink did a really nice job. Everything looks great. So we can learn more about the key features of this camera kit. Obviously it works with Alexa. We have two years of battery life. These are wireless security cameras with both day and night vision up to 1080p for your full HD resolution. They also feature two-way audio and motion control. Did I also mention that these are outdoor rated? Again, this is the Blink Outdoor Kit. So rain or shine, you'll be good to use these outside. They are weather resistant. Now let's go ahead, let's open them up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature featuring info on the Blink Sync 2 module and our outdoor cameras. Four AA batteries, two for each camera. Four screws, two per each mount. We have our two wall mounts right here with our installation tool. We have a USB wall plug and a USB to micro USB cable right here for our Blink Sync Module 2. This does have Amazon's very own logo and branding on it. Here is the Blink Sync Module 2 with indicator lights right there, micro USB port, USB type A port so we can connect storage devices, additional product info on the back, and lastly, we have the cameras itself. They're both identical to each other. They're in black for the outdoor. Blink's logo and branding. Look at them from all different sides and angles. We still have the plastic film and cover on them. We have installation instructions, walking you through how to set everything up. And we have a grommet we can remove to reveal a micro USB port. We've got a micro USB port right there. Since these are outdoor cameras, if you're using them outdoors, make sure you have that grommet properly sealed. Here's the second camera again. You get the idea. Very similar. They're identical to each other. Very small form factor for security camera. Now let's go ahead. Let's get these set up. So the first thing we're going to do is get the batteries installed in the camera. So we have our screw cover right here. We go ahead. We remove that. Then we take our lovely tool Let's go ahead, let's loosen this so we can remove the cover. All right, so there we go, we have the cover removed. Let's go ahead, we'll just get the batteries installed. Then we're gonna take the cover, line everything back up again. Let's go the other direction. We have everything tightened back down in place. So there we go, we have the batteries installed. I can see we have a blinking red indicator right here. Let's go ahead, let's put the screw cover back on and let's repeat that exact same process with the other camera. So we have the batteries installed now in both cameras and they're flashing red. Now we have our Blink Sync 2 module connected right here and powered up via the included USB cable and charger. We also have the Blink app downloaded on our mobile device. Once you sign in or create an account, you'll be at this screen where we're ready to add our new cameras. So go ahead, select the plus icon in the top right hand corner and we have to choose which item we want to add. So in this case, it's the Blink wireless camera system. We got to give it some permissions right here. So scan the QR code on the device or enter the serial number manually. There we go, we just added it. All right, so we can create a new system. All right, select done. And now we need to make sure that we have a steady green and a blinking blue for the Wi-Fi, and we do. So we can select discover device, give it permissions right here. And now we need to give it some additional permissions. Select okay. And here we go, it brings up a list of all the Wi-Fi networks nearby. So go ahead, select your network. Now it's working on connecting to the Blink servers. All right, now you can see everything's been added. Let's select done. And there we go, we have our sync module set up. Next up, it's time to get our cameras added. So select the blue plus icon in the top right hand corner again, then choose Blink Wireless Camera. Remove the back and you can scan the QR code. So here we go. 
So let's go ahead, we're gonna select that one. It's looking for our camera. Now the camera was added successfully, so we can select next. We have a free trial to the Blink Plus plan if we want. So they walk you through what's included there. And here we go, we have our first camera successfully added. So we got our second camera added as well. Now let's go ahead, let's get them installed and try them out. So I have one of the outdoor cameras propped up right here on my computer monitor so you can see a real time video sample. Obviously this is indoors, so we'll definitely try it outdoors as well. But check it out, this is what the video quality is gonna look like if you wanna have that nice live view. We have some additional options within the app too. We have the ability to save it, hold the talk, and then we can select the more option to view our device settings. We'll look at that here in a minute. You may have noticed we had a continue prompt show up on the screen. That's gonna come up every couple of seconds to make sure that we're actually here because that's gonna help conserve battery if it doesn't have to provide the live view. So there it is, we're gonna select continue again. But check it out, we have all of our studio lights turned on, so let's go ahead, let's try it again with all the lights off to activate night vision. All right, now the lights are all off. Here's the video quality with night vision enabled. Everything looks really good. If you have a little source of light, like we do in the background, that'll really make this look so nice. We have a little bit of light leaking in that window, even though it's covered. So if maybe there's a street light, something like that, even moonlight, you get the idea though, it's gonna look even better than if you didn't have any light. It just needs a sliver of light and it really does a good job with that infrared technology. I'm gonna get really close to the camera. It's gonna wash out my face, but if I'm further away, no big deal. I mean, look at the details there. You can still read the logo on my shirt. Movement, motion, all of that looks really nice even in the dark. Within the mobile app, you can easily view your camera's device settings by selecting the settings icon where we can change the name. We have our monitoring section, battery's okay. Temperature right here, we can adjust the alerts or calibrate as needed. Then we have motion detection settings, so we can enable or disable motion detection. Zones is currently in beta, so we can set our motion zones. Retrigger time, sensitivity, clip length, End clip early if motion stops, that's great if you wanna save some additional storage space. Early notification, basically get the notification right away when it's triggered as opposed to after a motion clip finishes recording. We can turn motion recording on or off, night vision, control settings right there, so auto on or off, or the sensitivity, you can adjust that low, medium, high. We can enable or disable the audio, adjust the speaker volume, video quality, photo capture. So there's a lot that you can control and configure within the camera and device settings. Status LED, offer recording, and then we have some additional settings like our Wi-Fi, camera sync module, and our current firmware. At the very bottom, you can delete the camera as you so wish. So that's a quick look at the device settings. You are now listening to a sample of the camera's built-in speaker quality. We are talking through the app through the camera. This is what the Blink camera is going to sound like if you want to have a conversation or talk to somebody on the other end of the camera. Now it's time to get this camera installed. So we have the camera installed. Super simple installation process. It's literally just two screws. So we just zapped them right in and then the camera just snaps on. So it takes a second, but you will just be able to press it right in place. And then you can make your adjustments to get it exactly how you want it. In this case, shining right here on this back door. I wanted to spend a minute walking through some of the features depending on if you choose to have a plan or not have a plan at all. So you have a realistic expectation of what you're able to do and view, record and save with these cameras. So this is from Blink's own website. Here are the features you get without any plan. So motion activated notifications, live view streaming. Everything else you see here will require a paid monthly or yearly subscription. And those options are as follows. The first one is the basic plan. That's $3 a month or $30 a year at the time of this video. And we get motion detection, video recording, live view recording, extended live view, 60 day unlimited video history, optional local storage backup, rapid video access, video sharing, photo capture, that's gonna be your basic plan. Then if you want for $10 a month or $100 a year, there's the Blink Plus plan. And that includes everything we just mentioned, 
And then further down, you can get 10% off Blink devices and extended warranty coverage. Now we're looking at a live daylight view of our Blink outdoor camera. Everything looks really nice. The sun is out, but we do have some cloud coverage. So you can see the exposure in the sky is a little bit washed, but nothing in the background or the foreground is washed out, underexposed or overexposed. Very detailed and thorough. And again, we can really zoom in and see what's going on all around the live preview. Now it's dark outside. Let's see how the outdoor cameras look at night. So we have our front facing camera pointed out on the driveway. We're able to make out the car there. We have some porch lights helping to illuminate outdoors, but everything looks really nice. And don't forget, we can zoom in so you can see the detail there. Very clear and crisp footage. Now we're looking at the back door. We have a light illuminating outside. I wanted to see how it would look with that light on to see how washed out everything is, but it's very, very detailed. I'm pleased with the image quality here. Again, it's dark outside. We do have that bright light. Now let's look at it again with that light off. Now the light's off. We still have plenty of detail here. We actually have the light illuminating from indoor leaking out that window, but we can make out the playhouse here, the chair in the background, good enough to be able to tell if somebody's walking by or any sort of unannounced or uninvited visitor in the back, you're able to see it. Now let's check out some more sample footage. <laughs> Now some time has passed and we've built up a nice clip database. Let's go ahead, let's look at some of them here. So we have a lot of different clips. Let's start with this one. So we have a car in the driveway, pretty cool. Let's go to this clip. There's me walking around with my daughter. So that's pretty cool. I have some better clips as well. Let's do a couple here further down. Here we go, someone walking through the house. Let's wait till nighttime. We have a couple more good ones. So you get the idea here. We have it armed. So we have a lot of clips. Here's a gross one. We got a spider making a web right there, triggering the motion alerts. So gross. Oh, that one just makes my skin crawl. I mean, look at these. Oh, we got Spidey there. No, Spidey. All right, here's a backlight one. There I am, my dog. So you get the idea. They're pretty quick motion alerts, but very helpful nonetheless. Go ahead, play another one. So this is cool. That's basically the time lapse. It takes a photo, I believe every hour you can configure that. And then it shows as a little video here. Here's another one. Exiting the front door, car in the driveway, pulling up, triggering the motion alert. Oh, there's Spidey again, gross. All right, here's another one of those time lapse. Another one at night. You can see we still have some color there. Headlights from the car. Another time lapse. And then we're back to initial camera setup. So that's what the alerts look like. You can also highlight them. If you want, you can select it and then you can share or delete them on your own. So everything works great with this kit. Setup was simple and straightforward. I'm really happy with the functionality that we get right out of the box. Having that sync module definitely helps. So you technically don't need to get a cloud service plan every month. That'll help keep your costs low. But the good news is if you do want to get one, it costs maybe the same as a cup or two of coffee every month. And for most people, that peace of mind is definitely worthwhile. Overall, there are a couple things I would want to see improved in the future. The first one is having a more responsive live view. So as soon as you click that, it basically snaps and goes right into the live view. I found that it takes a couple of seconds 
and I'd like to see that sped up, especially if they can do it in a way that doesn't decrease the battery life. I'm thinking that's the reason why they go in some sort of hybrid sleep state and it takes a couple of seconds to wake them up. But I'd love to see the same performance or maybe just a smidge less battery life and we could have a faster, you know, cut into the live view. Second thing is I like the stands that are included, the mounts, but I wish that they had a longer neck so we could really pivot that camera all the way around. It's hard to explain, but basically they kind of bump into the stand and you can't fully utilize it. So I'd love to be able to have 90, 90, and 90 to be able to have full functionality and range of movement. I don't know that'd be like 270 degrees, 180 degrees, something like that with an extended neck or something that gives us that ability. I'd also like to have the ability to lock it more securely in place. Anybody can come right up to it if it's in arm's reach and just pull it out and take the camera away. There's no added security screw or anything like that. The good news is it's easier to pull down and change the batteries. The bad news is if you have it within arm's length anywhere, somebody could just jump up or just reach out, grab it, pull it right off the mount. So I'd like to see those things improved in the future, but none of those are a stumbling block for me personally to not recommend getting a system like this.